Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, list interface. Uh, interface list belongs to java.util package. Uh, here you can see the E, e is nothing but uh, type of elements in the list. Uh, the type can be string or integer or uh, employee object or person object like that. Okay. And uh, list interface uh, which extends uh, collection interface. And the collection interface extends uh, iterable interface and here you can see some of the implementing classes uh, like abstract list array list link list role list etc and the list is nothing but a order collection uh, it holds or contains group of objects and objects are also referred as uh, elements okay uh, now i will cover what are the different kinds of methods which are available in the list interface okay uh, here you can see the list. Uh, the list has uh, three objects: zero uh, index object one, first index object two, and the second index uh, object three. Suppose hey, I want to add uh, object four in this list. Then what I have to do is I have to just pass this object four to this add method. Okay. What this add method does is it will add this object four at the end of the list. Okay. And uh, suppose uh, I want to add group of objects like uh, I want to add some three objects or four objects at a time to the list then what I have to do is whatever objects I want to add I have to put it in the different collection okay so in this case I put uh, object 5 and object 6 in uh, collection C and pass this uh, collection C to the add all method okay so what this method will do is it will add this object 5 and object 6 to the list collection okay uh, here you can see the list has uh, three objects uh, suppose say in the first index i want to add this object 4 then what i have to do is uh, i have to pass this object 4 to this method and specify the index as 1 then what will happen is object 3 and object 2 shifted to the right place and object 4 will be inserted in the uh, first index okay uh, suppose say I want to add group of objects in the specified position in the list then what I have to do is I have to uh, pass this collection to this add all method and I have to specify the index okay suppose say I specified uh, index as 1 then what will happen is object 3 and object 2 will be shifted to the right and object 4 and object 5 will be placed in the list in the first index and the second index okay uh, suppose say i want to remove this uh, object 4 from this list then what i can do is uh, i can remove this object 4 using two ways the first way is uh, call this remove method by passing the index so in this case i have to pass index as 3 then this object 4 will be removed okay and another way is uh, pass the object 4 to this uh, remove method which accept object okay so this remove method will remove this object 4 from the list and uh, suppose uh, i want to remove group of objects from the list uh, then what i can do is whatever objects i want to remove that i have to put it in the collection okay so in this case i put uh, object 5 and object 6 in collection c and uh, pass the collection to remove all method so this method will remove uh, object 5 and object 6 from the list uh, suppose say from this list I want to retain only object 1 and object 2 uh, remaining objects I want to remove then uh, what I can do is whatever objects I want to retain put it in the collection so in this case I put uh, object 1 and object 2 in the collection C and pass this uh, collection to the retain all method so what this method will do is it will uh, retain object 1 and object 2 and remove other objects from the list uh, suppose say uh, from this list I want to replace this object 3 with object 7 then what I can do is uh, I have to use this uh, set method okay so here I have to pass the index so in this case uh, object 3 index is uh, 2 so I will pass 2 and uh, element as object 7 okay then what will happen is uh, object 3 will be replaced with object 7 uh, suppose say I want to check this object 4 is present in the 
list or not then what i can do is i can pass this object 4 to this contains method what this uh, contains method will do is it will check object 4 is there in the list or not if it is there then it will return true if it is not there then it will return false okay and uh, suppose say i want to check group of objects which are uh, there in the list or not then what i can do is whatever objects uh, i want to check i have to put it in the collection okay so in this case i put uh, object 5 and object 6 in the collection c and then call this uh, contains all method by passing this collection uh, what this uh, contains all method will uh, do is it will check this group of objects uh, present in the list or not if it is present then it will return true else it will return false okay uh, suppose say from this list i want to get object 4 then what i can do is i can uh, call this get method by passing the index so in this case if i pass index as 3 i will get this object 4 okay and uh, suppose say i want to get uh, the position of uh, object 4 okay then what i can do is i can uh, call index of method and uh, here i have to pass the object 4 then uh, what this method will uh, return is it will return object 4 position so in this case it will return object 4 uh, position as 3 okay uh, using uh, last index of method also i can find uh, the particular uh, object position in the list okay and uh, index of method it returns index of the first occurrence of the specified element in the list and uh, last index of method it will return index of the last occurrence of the specified element in the list okay uh, suppose say i want to know uh, the list is uh, empty or not then what i can do is i can use this is empty method uh, this method will return true if uh, the list doesn't contain uh, any elements uh, if it contains uh, elements then uh, this is empty method will return false okay and uh, suppose say i want to know the size of the list then i can use this uh, size method and uh, suppose i want to clear all elements from the list then what i can do is i can use this uh, clear method it will uh, remove all elements from the list okay uh, suppose say uh, from this list i want to get sub list then uh, what i have to do is i have to just call this uh, sub list method and i have to pass uh, from index and to index suppose say if i pass uh, from index as 0 to index as uh, 3 then i will get uh, this as a sub list okay uh, suppose say i want to get each element from the list one by one then what i can do is i can call uh, iterator method which will return uh, iterator object and once i get the iterator object i can uh, get each element from the list one by one okay like that uh, I can call uh, list iterator. Uh, this method will return uh, list iterator object. And once I get the list iterator object, uh, using uh, list iterator object, I can uh, get each element from the list one by one. Okay. Uh, suppose say I want to convert this uh, list to array. Then uh, what I can do is uh, I can call this uh, overloaded to array methods. Uh, it will return the array object. Okay. Uh, list interface uh, extends a collection interface uh, so list supports whatever methods which are available in the collection interface plus uh, this many methods uh, which are defined newly in the list uh, interface okay uh, which i have already covered uh, like we discussed uh, list is an ordered collection and uh, list uh, can contain uh, duplicate elements and uh, it supports uh, whatever methods available in the collection interface plus it supports uh, uh, some more additional uh, methods okay like uh, positional access so based on the index position we can add the element we can uh, remove the element we can replace the element and we can get the element okay and uh, like that uh, uh, search it supports such uh, suppose if you want to uh, search the particular object position then uh, we can do okay and it supports uh, iteration and uh, range view and uh, this is about uh, list interface and uh, thanks for watching bye